Welcome back to another day at Christopher's World Grill. Some creative twists to some recipes for you. We're going to go the duck route this time, and it's Italian sausage stuffed duck. That's right. This is great for the winter holidays. Uh, of course, if you're seeing this in the summer, it's great now, too. Uh, but it is, uh, it's a different way. I mean, if you don't mess with duck too much, uh, I'm not even sure where you find that at the grocery store. It doesn't work well with wild duck, I can tell you that. You have to do like a uh, farm raise. We use Muscovy duck breast. Um, but this is a great way to do that. I think about a half pound here of Italian sausage. I'm going to do about a, a fourth of a cup of uh, Parmesan cheese in there. Got about a, about a half of a cup to three-fourths of a cup, basically, of spinach that I've wilted and about a fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs. Just going to mix that up really well. We're going to take this duck breast and just loosen it under the skin a little bit. I'm going to take this skin here. Just with my finger, I'm going to take a little bit of, uh, it's about, what is that, about a fourth of a cup or so of Italian sausage. I'm just going to spread that out along that breast underneath the skin. Just going to kind of form it like that, make it a little bit easier and tuck that in. You want to get it all the way to the ends if you can. Shove that under there and then you want to cover that as much as possible. And then maybe press it. Now we want to take a, a sharp knife and just kind of make a couple of slices along that the skin so it can get a little bit crispier there. Now just put a little salt and pepper on that. Butter here. Not a lot of fat. Over like medium high heat you just want to let this get nice and uh, nice and crispy on one side before you turn it because we just want to get that nice golden brown color on the uh, on the skin. We're going to sear the other side just so we uh, stop any juices escaping. And then we're going to finish that in the oven. All right, once those have got a little bit of color on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and transfer those to my baking dish that I'm using and put those in the oven about 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay, our duck breasts are ready. Let them rest for about 10 or 15 minutes after they come out of the oven. I'm just going to uh, slice this on the bias a little bit here. And now I've got a little uh, butternut squash puree that we use in the, uh, in the restaurant. Now the, the sauce for this that I'm using is a dried cherry uh, sauce. Now I know that the sauce is very critical, but you can play around a little bit at home. Take some dried cherries, some shallots, some red wine, maybe a little sugar, and just let it all reduce down. Make kind of a glaze. I've done that and I've added a little bit of uh, I've added a little bit of meat glaze there also, like a little bit of beef stock that I've reduced down a little bit. So I've got some dried cherries here. We've got a little bit of sweet potato garnish on top of here, just like that. Okay, there it is. Real easy squeezy, but you can make it real pretty if you like. All right, I've got your little bite here, Mike. A little bit of Italian sauce, a little bit of duck, a little bit of the dried cherry sauce. All right. Have a little bite there. Don't get your tie dirty. No, I got it. Oh, yeah. Now, See, a lot of people that don't like duck, they really like it when it's got pork involved in it. Well, you know? when it's got something else involved like that, yeah. I'll admit, duck has not been one of my favorites, but my goodness, I can see where that would be a holiday favorite there, especially with the amped up cherries. Cherry sauce. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't have a recipe for that for you, but literally just reduce some dried cherries, right? balsamic vinegar maybe, red wine, a little bit of sugar, shallots. Let that reduce down because it gets kind of a glaze, and it's really nice just, uh, just on top there. Man, uh, it, these are sweet potato curls. Yep. You could attempt it at home. You have to have a kind of a little special machine to do it like that, but roasted butternut squash or any type of root vegetables will be great with right. this. And, uh, you know, it can be cooked in the morning and held and reheated later on, get a little crispy. It's delicious so, for so the I'm holidays. I'm kind of talking to myself as well, but you need to jump out of the comfort zone. Try something new during the holidays, and if you're not a duck fan, that will make you one. So follow the recipe, which, by the way, is online. Go to kbtx.com, look for Christopher's Kitchen. That's where we list all of these awesome recipes. That is a good duck recipe. It's great for the winter. All right, very nice. And thank you for making us a part of your morning. Until next time, for Christopher Lampo, I'm Mike Wright.